All right, welcome back to the channel. So, Tiafimo Lopez beats Vasily Lomachenko to become the. What does he become? Some people are saying the undisputed champion, but that's not the case. And ESPN acknowledged as much. Devin Haney calls out Tiafimo Lopez and gives him the nickname, <laughs> the undisputed asterisk champion, because that's what has been placed upon his claims for undisputed. Uh, let's talk about that and the fact that Tiafimo Lopez says that he'll fight Devin, Devin Haney. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. So it looks we had a very, very good fight last night, excuse me, last this weekend where when Vasily Lomachenko lost his WBO and WBA championships to the IBF champion Tiafimo Lopez in a very, very good fight. Tiafimo Lopez, uh, you know, arrives on this boxing scene as, as a new star. Tiafimo, I mean, Vasily Lomachenko gets, you know, he, he experiences what most people that are hype jobs experience. That eventual boop, boop, boop. And it came after his whopping 16th fight in boxing. <laughs> Crazy. But this is about what happens forward. This video is about what happens going forward. So Tiafimo Lopez is now supposed to be, right, the undisputed champion. He holds the WBA, the WBO, the IBF. But he doesn't hold the WBC belt that Every other champion, with the exception of Canelo Alvarez, holds by the WBC, something called the franchise belt, which, quite honestly, is just some concocted nonsense that is meant to help the WBC keep, um, keep a fighter holding their belt that would otherwise leave a weight class. It is a, oh, please, superstar fighter, don't leave me type of nonsense belt that has been roundly abused by everybody in boxing. I have not heard anybody speak positively about either one about I've not heard anybody speak positively about the WBC franchise belt. But when they gave this franchise belt to Canelo Alvarez so that Canelo Alvarez wouldn't have to fight Jamal Charlo, they then they thought they were onto something and they passed that on over to Vasily Lomachenko and then Tiafimo Lopez asks the, the WBC, Mauricio Suleiman, hey, would you mind if I if I beat Vasily Lomachenko, can I become the franchise champion? And Mauricio Suleiman says, yeah, sure, you can be this franchise champion. Only problem, just like with Vasily Lomachenko, that prevents Tiafimo Lopez from, uh, from claiming that he is what he wants, what he says he wants to be, which is an undisputed champion. Um, in order to be an undisputed champion, in my book, you have to have the same belts that other undisputed champions have. Otherwise, it's disputed. And at this point in time, the franchise belt is disputed throughout the boxing world. It's not undisputed by the WBC, the WBA. The, no, it's undisputed by everybody. There are four major championship belts. If you have all four major championship belts, you are an undisputed champion. Tiafimo Lopez has three of the four belts. The WBC is coming and say, no, 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 no. In this special circumstance, in this special circumstance, it's this franchise belt that counts. And everybody else is saying, no, dude, no. And how could you give this to Tiafimo Lopez? Because Tiafimo Lopez doesn't deserve to be a franchise champion. It was already a stretch when you said it was Lomachenko, that Lomachenko was some big star. Because if you recall, the franchise belt was designed for, for Canelo Alvarez because Canelo Alvarez was this huge pay-per-view star that was the face of boxing. He was the biggest thing in boxing. And for the good of boxing, he should be allowed to fight in whatever weight class he wants to fight. He shouldn't be tied down with mandatories because of his status in the world of boxing. That's why they chose the word franchise. Like, you're the franchise. You mean so much that you mean the whole thing. Like, boxing would be hurt if we didn't do what you wanted us to do. You're bigger than boxing. You are the franchise, right? Kind of like LeBron James when LeBron James was with Cleveland. He was the franchise. Like, look, there is no franchise without him, right? There is no, 
There is no Cleveland Cavaliers going to the championship without LeBron James. That's why they call LeBron James the franchise. So you said that about Canelo. Now, now you pass it to Lomachenko, and people are like, he's not a franchise. What about that? But at least with Lomachenko, there was the there was the hype job. You know, there was all the hype around him and all the people talking about how he's the greatest fighter ever and he's better than Ali. There was all that noise that could have at least that at least supported the idea that he was somehow franchise, that he was somehow bigger than the WBC, that he was bigger than the lightweight belt, and that we need to have Vasily Lomachenko there, otherwise the world collapses, right? Because that's what the franchise is supposed to be. But that's not what Teofimo Lopez is. Teofimo Lopez, is, as of right now, is a kid, 22-year-old kid, that beat Vasily Lomachenko and has a great accomplishment, but he's no Errol Spence Jr., Tiafimo Lopez is not out there putting 55, putting 40, 50,000 pe- uh, butts in seats in Dallas Stadium. He's not there doing 400,000, 500,000 pay-per-views. He's not there. So he's clearly not a franchise in the sense that you created the word. So why would you give him that belt? And that is what the rest of the boxing world is disputing. It's disputed because I can have a conversation and a and a coherent conversation, a logical conversation, and support my argument that the WBC franchise belt should not be considered one of the major championship belts. And it shouldn't be considered one of the major championship belts because it's not a belt that can be won in the ring. It is a designation that is given to you by Mauricio Suleiman. So why should Mauricio Suleiman in and of himself be able to designate which belt counts for undisputed? No, you don't get to do that. You run your WBC, and you can put your WBC belt out there, but the people who are watching the fights and paying for the fights will be the ones that that are going to determine if there's an undisputed champion who that is. And while you have two groups of people confused about it, nobody can be undisputed because people are disputing it. And if you keep putting more belts, more weight classes, then what? Like they they introduced this WBC uh, super cruiserweight championship champion, which has cruiserweight ending at 175. If cruiserweight is 175 and not 200, right? So cruise lightweight and then cruiserweight is 175 to what did he say it was? Like 175 to 200. So you just cut the cruiserweight in half and then cut the regular one and ha- it's just stupid because the WBC will be the only one with that weight class for a while. It could be up to 10 years because that's how long it took other sanctioning bodies to adopt new in-between weight classes. But hey, the WBC thinks that's smart because hey, who we know 17 different weight classes is a problem and but let's just add 8. Let's add another one, make it 18. We know four championship belts is a lot for people to be keeping track of. But now you want to add a fifth? It may be one of the four, but it could also be a fifth. Dude, the WBC, if they keep making these terrible decisions, you guys just need to shut down because you are not doing boxing right at all. No way, no shape, no form. However, Devin Haney calling out the asterisk champion is 100% correct because Devin Haney and Tiafimo Lopez, they together can solve that problem. And I do believe that Tiafimo Lopez has is the type of dude that will fight Devin Haney provided that Bob Arum allows him to do it. And we will see over the next couple of weeks what Tiafimo Lopez does. Will Tiafimo, but I have, I'm going to tell you I'm pretty confident what Tiafimo Lopez is going to do. Tiafimo Lopez is going to do what Bob Arum tells Tiafimo Lopez to do and what Bob Arum allows Tiafimo Lopez to do. If he moves up there to 140, then that French, all that stuff, the weight that he leaves down there at 135 pounds, with that franchise belt, now is he now? What happens if Tiafimo Lopez goes to 140, and he's campaigning at 140, and he never chooses to go back down to 135? Does that mean that there can never be another undisputed champion again? Because that because because Tiafimo Lopez moved up to 140 and 147, but he still gets to maintain for the rest of his life. It, as long as he's undefeated, he gets to claim that he's the WBC lightweight champion even though he's fighting at 140 and 147? I mean, do you see how absolutely ridiculous this is? And the WBC, they, dude, you guys are just doing too much. 
You're just doing too much. You, you raise the level of all right? You're coming up with a new weight class for the heavyweight division. You come up with a franchise belt. Dude, what is going to be next out of you guys? Really? At what point in time are you going to stop adding on things and doing things that the rest of the boxing world is not asking you to do? And here's the thing. You are a stu- You are being trusted. You are in a trusted position by boxing fans of ha- being a major sanctioned uh, sanction body. And you guys are doing your absolute best to break that trust at every turn, making decisions that are just ridiculous. And now, because you made that silly decision, trying to make, trying to take care of Canelo Alvarez, now a bunch of people are confused about who's undisputed at well at at, at lightweight. You guys just need to make better decisions. And and I'm telling you, I'm not recognizing. I'm not recognizing because I have the right to recognize who I'm going to recognize. I am not recognizing Tiafimo Lopez as an undisputed champion. I'm recognizing Devin Haney as the WBC champion because he is. He holds the same belt that. that that Errol Spence Jr. has. How can Errol Spence Jr. have that belt and be champion? How can Jamal Char- Jermel Charlo hold that belt and be and be uh, and be champion? And Tiafimo Lopez hold that same belt that they hold, but he's not champion. Why Tiafimo Lopez hold, holds some designation that nobody but Canelo Alvarez holds, and he is the champion? No, you're playing too many games. You need to stop WBC. But anyway, that's my take on the matter. You let me know what you think. And with that, I'm out. Peace. Thank you.